98% have a computer at home. 88% have access to the internet at home. 80% regularly use instant messaging to communicate. But 28% have been asked something inappropriate in an instant messenger or chat room. 27% have seen images or video on the internet that upset them. Yet 97% feel safe when using the internet. So what are the risks? Probably the biggest danger I would think of is personal safety, particularly with uh, younger people, but also your own details being out there and maybe accessed by people that you really wouldn't want to have your information. I think the biggest danger of the internet is people not being sensible. I think the biggest danger of the internet would probably be people posing as someone they're not. Uh, meeting people that you don't know on the internet and uh, internet chat rooms. Uh... Um, I think the biggest danger of the internet is being tricked into doing things that you don't really feel comfortable doing. Um, and I think when people are talking to people over the internet on networking sites and MSN and things like that, they often say things that they, don't, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't feel comfortable saying if they were talking to somebody face to face. The danger now is that what people pick up off the net, they deem to be fact and, um, and act accordingly. And you, you, we, we need to educate people against that. I think there are a number of dangers on the internet or potential dangers on the internet. Um, but those potential dangers only really, I think, come into play when, when individuals are, are, are not acting responsibly. Are people putting information on the internet that they don't mean to, that's very dangerous. And that could be the government, that could be a business, that could be an individual person. They put something up on the internet and they just don't realise how many people can see it. Because once information's out there on the web, um, it's very easy for people to make copies of it. However, these facts were taken from a single year, from a single school. What about the bigger picture? One in five teenagers could be endangered by the internet. One in ten people have met someone they don't know from a chat room. One third regretted that decision. Be that as it may, these articles were written several years ago, so is it possible that the hazards still exist? And if so, do the media exaggerate them? The media like to uh, frighten people sometimes with their stories because it makes good press, but I don't think the media have particularly over-exaggerated the use of uh, the internet with regard to how dangerous it could be. They do like to grab hold of a story and sensationalise it, but I think actually it, it's a good way sometimes of highlighting what the issues are, and I do think there are a lot of dangers out there. I think the media has over-exaggerated the use of the, using the internet because it just makes us seem like we're helpless and we don't have like any common sense like to turn off the computer when you know something's weird. I think they over-exaggerate it in, uh, for a good reason, so people are really aware of the uh, dangers of the internet, but I think sometimes they do blow things up out of proportion. Do the media have a point? Are these threats so great that some higher authority should limit our access to the internet? But I think essentially it's down to you and what you know you shouldn't, shouldn't be doing on the internet. The company that actually um, gives you the internet service clearly has a responsibility to, to ensure that, um, that some sites are, are you know, perhaps not, not available to you. Um, but as to ultimately I think it is down to the individual. There's so many sites that would be useful in a school environment that you cannot use because they're blocked, such as you know, Flickr, YouTube for sharing um, videos and, and watching video content and tutorials on how to do things. It's very difficult to control what people can have access to and what you can block out. I think probably the best example was the Chinese government tried to stop the people of China from accessing Western websites. And they used filtering software that looked for keywords just like keywords in Google and somebody came up with the idea of making a search engine that reversed the keywords it um, turned the words that you were looking for backwards so if you were looking for iTunes it would turn the word iTunes backwards so that it could get around the, um, the filtering software and the Chinese government suddenly found that all of their brilliant filtering software was completely useless 80% have posted a photo of themselves somewhere on the internet. 54% have posted a video of themselves or friends somewhere on the internet. 
70% have sent a photo or video of themselves to other people on a phone. Are these facts a good thing or have we become too dependent on technology? And I also think that um, youngsters sometimes forget how to communicate in, with a real person, with a real conversation, because all they do these days is text or do it on the computer. They don't interact with people as such. I think the increasing dependence on, on the internet and mobile phones is, is potentially dangerous. I think that um, if, we, if we rely on these technologies too much, we are potentially setting ourselves up for a situation where if something fails then it, might, it, you know, it could fail catastrophically and it could have significant impact. Um, although having said that, I, I, do think it's, I, th I do think the positives of, of positive impact of, of mobile technologies and communications technologies far outweigh the negatives. People have become dependent on the internet because it's such a good source of information. In conclusion, what do you think of the internet? Easy, it's easy to use and uh, it's convenient. I think the internet's a really exciting uh, innovation. Uh, I think it changes the whole way in which we communicate with each other. I think the internet is a great resource for schoolwork and also it's a great place to talk to your friends when you're not at school. I think the internet is a fantastic tool that can be used for fun and education. The internet is a nifty resource.